I've been thinking a lot lately, and that's part of the reason I haven't made a video for a while. You know, because if I if I think too hard, I hemorrhage and fall down, and there's a just a giant pile of mess. Okay, that's not that's not right. But I have been thinking a lot about things lately, and one thing I'm thinking about is communities. I like the idea of communities on YouTube, but then I thought, you know, I and I've talked about this before, just kind of I just kind of talked about it in passing the other in another video about the idea of fringers. People who are on the outside of a community looking in. And I sort of feel like that's what I do. And then I feel invasive. And I almost feel like I have no right to be there. Um, and But there are two communities I feel that way in particular with. And I mean, they've, they've accepted me even though I haven't gone through or do what they do. And I like that. But the pipe smoking community. I'm not a member of the community actively. I don't smoke pipes. I can't talk about tobaccos or, you know, all those things that, that they know. And I wouldn't even be making this story, or this video rather, but two people, one from each community I'm going to mention, mailed me and said, dude, why are you here? You know, you don't smoke tobacco. You don't know anything about pipes. And this isn't to to justify myself or to be defensive and go, here's why. So just put that in your pipe and smoke it. Bad pun, but it, it came out. It's verbal diarrhea. What I like about the pipe smoking community is everyone on YouTube talks about stuff. I mean, they all have stories. And things they tell, whether it's about strength or gaming or whatever kind of story you can imagine to fit into a group. But there's something that tobacco pipe smokers do that I don't know what it is, but they sit down and they tell you a story or they share their life or part of their lives like we all do on YouTube anyway. But there's something they do that captivates me for as little as two minutes. I think that's the shortest video I've watched. To, there's one video I watched the other day that was, I think it was 25 minutes long, and I literally got engrossed in it. So forever, whoever asked me, you know, why, why do you watch our videos if you don't smoke a pipe? That's why. Now for the weight loss community, specifically people who have had surgeries, whether it's gastric banding, R and Y, all those kinds of things. There's a story that I haven't told yet that I'm not saying this is a teaser, but I just need to get my poop in a group before I tell the story. So that that will be coming sometime this weekend, if not for sure early next week as to why I'm part of you know, and like some people would say, part of that community. In the end, I think what it is, and I've said this before too, I like to watch people do what they do and be who they are. And there are some people in each community that have gifts that I, I marvel at. I marvel at people often. But I don't just marvel at what people do. I marvel at who they are. And everyone I watch, whether you're a part of, you know, a designated community or a community that mentions itself using the word community, or you're just being you, I like to watch people being who they are, doing what they do, having a passion for it, enjoying it. That's what I'm about. Passionate fella, little bald, little weird, little off balance, literally. I mean, they're bums with bank accounts, theoretically. They have a better balance in their bank account than I do in my body. So if anyone's kind of scratched their head and wondered, why does he post here? Why does he watch my videos? 
in a hopefully non-defensive reason, or explanation rather, this video explains why. Because I care about people.